Hello, uh, welcome to Vaso Meditech Heal Your Heart EECP Treatment Center. Today, the topic we are going to discuss is high cholesterol level causes heart disease. Well, this is something which is endorsed by all the cardiologists, and many patients do think that high cholesterol would definitely lead to a heart disease. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about what is the basics of this and whether it is a fact or it is only an opinion from the experts. Um, to get it the answer, let us go in depth to discuss about this. Why high cholesterol causes heart disease? This is considered to be very important based upon three observations. Number one, when there is a patient with heart disease and when there is a blockage developed in the coronary artery disease, when this obstruction is uh, looked at, most of them has cholesterol particle. And second, there are studies, the famous study called Framingham Heart Studies. What they did, it, they followed the patient who have high cholesterol level for a long period of time and they clearly shown people with high cholesterol level or uh, have a high chances of getting into heart disease. This is a fact too. And the third part is when they introduce a drug called statin, when they put the patient on statin, when they reduce the cholesterol level, specifically the LDL level, then there is a significant reduction in the heart attack risk and the death. Now, all three put together, the plague has high cholesterol level and uh, all the patient who have high cholesterol level tends to have a higher chance of getting into heart disease. And third is, if your cholesterol level can be reduced, your risk of heart disease would also reduce. With all this fact, it has been accepted as a universal fact that heart disease is because of the cholesterol level. Now, as the science become uh, expanding, now recently there are a lot of questions against this fact that high cholesterol lead to heart disease. Uh, the truth is, when the newer investigators started to bring up new drugs, now what they did is, if they know that cholesterol can be reduced by statin, why can't we come up with other drugs which can do the same thing, reduce the cholesterol level and reduce the risk of heart disease and death. Now, many other non-statin agents like uh, niacin or fibrate or hormonal replacement therapy in postmenopausal women and all these things have been tried, they significantly re reduce the cholesterol level. But in spite of reducing the cholesterol level, they fail to cause any reduction in heart, uh, heart attack or death because of coronary artery disease. This is a surprising finding. If cholesterol is a culprit, then the newer agent which reduce the cholesterol also should have the same benefit as statin, which also reduces the cholesterol level. But it is not so. Now, if you look at it, the depth, now the answer is yes, uh, statin does reduce cholesterol level but the statin also has other effect beyond cholesterol level. For example, the patient who are on statin, they tend to have something called plague stabilization effect. This plague stabilization effect, it means what statin does is, when you are on a high dose or a low dose or minimal dose of statin, the statin will prevent the plague from getting ruptured. If the plague is prevented to get rupture, then the chances of heart attack significantly reduce. So this is the effect of statin, the effect on plague stabilization is an important factor in reducing cardiovascular disease, not the cholesterol itself. Now, as the data start pouring, there are a lot of questions started coming up. Some patients with high cholesterol level never develop heart disease or some patient who also have low cholesterol level also never develop a heart disease. So what would be the cause? The reason is another important factor has to be taken in. Many patients even with high cholesterol level will not develop heart disease because of the integrity of the vessel. Now the new fact emerges, if your blood vessel, I mean the uh, cells which is lining the blood vessels are healthy we call as endothelial function. If the cells are healthy, which is usually healthy in patients who are active uh, in active exercise. So if they do a regular exercise and control all other risk factor other than cholesterol, for example, diabetic control, hypertension control, reduce the stress, 
smoking cessation and regular exercise if it is all there then this endothelial function will be maintained so if the endothelial is strong the inner layer will be very strong and stable then this uh, endothelial will not uh, damage the cholesterol whether it is high or low can get into the endothelial of the blood vessel and form a plaque only if your endothelial is damaged now these two facts put together endothelial damage and also as i said before stay, stay i mean uh, uh, plaque stabilization if both are there then your chances of heart disease is reduced so cholesterol per se is not a cause for heart disease it's only one of the factor not the the factor for heart disease so patients who have a high cholesterol level does not develop heart disease naturally if they have a stable or a well protected endothelium and if they are a minor dose of statin which prevent heart disease ஒரு இருதய நோயாளிக்கு வந்து பைபாஸ் சர்ஜரி ஆஞ்சியோ பிளாஸ்டிக் சிகிச்சை முறை தான் முன்னாடி கொடுக்கப்பட்டு வந்துள்ளது இதற்கான மாற்று சிகிச்சை முறை வந்து இசிபி என்ஹான்ஸ்ட் எஸ்டர்னல் கவுண்டர் பல்சேஷன் ஹீல் யோ ஹார்ட் வேசோமெடிடெக் இசிபி ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் சென்டர்